Hi, hello, I'm Shark. This is Mr. Pink Ink. Welcome to a new video. I'm using face tracking on my new gimbal, so, so just to get used to it. So I don't know why it's going so crazy. But anyway, as you could see, I'm busy making a new background. Um, I'm trying to recreate my old wall of books that I used to have and then also to have a nice background for YouTube as you can see here now. Um, I'm absolutely loving it so far. Do excuse how it's looking. It's not done. Okay. My queer shop is my queer shop. It's going to stay that way maybe. Um, and then we got my monitor over here. And we're going to do some stuff. I don't know what we're going to do. I don't know what we're going to do yet, but that's that. Um, anyway, this is June. It's glitter month. Um, and I am kind of queer free in my reading for in my in my books for this for this month. Um, let me just quickly show you the unread books on my queer shelf. So, and then we can see how it goes from there. Okay, so quickly, um, the unread books that I have on my queer shelf is the Priory of the Orange Tree, uh, and that's no. Uh, and then we have, ooh, Netbus One, that could be a contender. We have She Gets to Go, but that's because I've tried to read this like five times and I couldn't. Yes to Us, I haven't yet read. So that's the top shelf. And then down here, of course, this duology, uh, this Poison Hearts. Um, and it's a sequel. Um, up here, the Miseducation of Cameron Post. Everything else I've read. And everything else I've read. This Son of the Storm was a DNF, but it should have been an, uh, an NRN and not right now. Um... So, yeah, but maybe not. Of course, this one and this one only on the weekend. So that is what I have for available on my queer shelf in the physicals. But I still don't know what's what. Um, but before I get any physicals, I don't I don't know what we're gonna do for physical. Um, it's cold, guys, it's very cold. Let's start off with that. I am on tour this month for three books. Um, on the 12th, I am on tour for The Curse of King Midas by Colleen M. Story. And this is released May 17th. 2024, so it's new. I'm going to put that on the 12th of June. Um, it's part one in a trilogy. So, yeah, it's, it's thingy. This is going to be a quick round, so I'm not going to do all the blurby blurbs. Please do go check this out in Goodreads. Then on the, oh, the week after that, the 18th, I think. I'm on tour. Oh, um, because of King Midas, I'm on tour with for Black Phoenix stores. Um, then on the 18th, I'm on tour for Sly as a Fox by Wendy Al Koenig. Um, this is the second book in the series. Um, I was on tour for a first book and I loved it. Um, I'm looking forward to this one. Um, yeah, so this is book two. And then on the 20th, 21st, I'm not sure right now, I'm on tour for One and Done by Frederick Smith. And this is a queer romance, and this is out on June 11th, 2024. Um, Sly as a Fox is out May 20, 2024. Cool. Um, then... Um, I also need a book for Magical Wheels on for the for the Choose Your Own Adventure. Um, brr, it's raining and it's cold. Um, and I need to read a book with an envelope on the cover or a book with a typewriter on the cover. And um, 
I've searched. Now, I do have Aki Sharuila with an envelope, but I've read that. Okay, so this this thing, and I've checked, there's nothing now, and I've scoured on my Kindle app. So we are going to go with, I'm going to stretch that, that, that prompt, I'm going to stretch it. So instead of a letter, I'm going to go with a package because it's still being sent by the mail. La la la. I know, I'm just doing that because that's what I have, guys. And we are going to go with First Class Package by Jay Northcote. And this is a male male romance, it's a very short story. Um, I'm sure it's a bit steamy. I'm, I, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, cool. Then, onto physicals. I really, really, really do want to read. Well, I need to read. I really need to get onto Compass and Blade by Rachel Greenlaw, which is an arc that came out in March. I was going to read it last month, but then at some I never made it onto my TBR. And then also I want to read. Oh, mm, sorry about that. A Tempest of Tea by Hapsa Faisal. Um, because I haven't read this author and I'm dying to know and I've read and I've heard a lot about it so um yeah look at that cover look how pretty look 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 so yes so that's cool so I don't know um so that's basically what I'm going to read um and I might take something up here depending I also do want to read The Silence Factory up here um, by Bridget Collins, mm. who wrote something else that I didn't get to read. So this is her second novel, but I, 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 anyway. So that's basically my TBR for June. It's mostly tours. And these will read after this because I've got to read those tour books first and then I'm going to get them ready. And, and the Curse of King Midas is like 400 pages or something, somewhere near that. So, and it's digital copies and I prefer physical copies. So, it, it hurts my eyes more, the digital copies. They, they hurt my eyes because they do. So, yes, please, thank you. Let me know down in the comments below what you are reading for, for Glitter Month. Um, I read queer books all the time. And normally I would focus it completely on queer books this month. But I don't have. I, I do have, but I'm, you know, I'm, I just, I have also other responsibilities to attend to. So, we're going to do that. Um, yeah. And it's winter recap. Yeah, so... Yeah, let me know what you're going to be reading because I'm always looking for new books. Um, well, to put them on a list to hopefully get them eventually, you, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Bye from a rainy chilly Cape Town. I hope you're warm. Stay safe. Bye. <laughs>